Hey, what's up, guys? Helderado here. Uh, I got a lot of subs wanting no locations and all that, so I'm going to show them. I did like put all the videos together, the locations and stuff, and it's 20 minutes. Nobody wants to sit that long, so I'm going to cut them in parts. But anyway, I think in this one there'd be a coin here that I've maxed out, so it's not going to let me have it. Then you go right across from where this was at. This is down Tumbleweed, up by the windmill. I think there'd be a coin. Because I get a lot from the subs. Where's this? Where's that? I use that map. It's out there. But that map don't have everything. It's good. Yes, it's good. But it does not have everything. And you got to be a certain level. I can't remember which one. Five or six on the collector. And you got to have the metal detector. Then straight across from the windmill on top of this ridge, there will be a necklace, coin, or an arrowhead. I mean... The game's gotten good. If you have, you got your trader roll and you got the collector roll going, plus the bounty, I mean, there's no reason to be griefing. Back in the old days, we didn't have nothing except fishing and hunting and story mi or stranger missions. And I'll be doing some videos for the lower levels, how I used to do it back in the day of making money. Then you get that coin, go down here and get your horse. I think it's above the sheriff station here. There'll be a tarot card. If it's not here on day one, day two, it's over at that big house on the front porch. I'll try and do a video on that too. I mean, there's so much to do in this game now. And I'm level 270, and in an hour or two, I could at least jump another level. I mean, it's not really hard. And I understand if you're low level start, starting out, because I was one too at one time. But didn't have all these opportunities. There should be a coin over here. Hey, what's up, dude? He's treasure hunting too. Cool. Over here, dude. This should be a coin or an arrowhead. All yours, dude. There's also, dude, uh, I think there'll be a comb or a brush in here inside this little house in the cabinet. Toward a shell comb. I mean, it's just so fast on this collector roll. It's even faster with the trader. Glitches. I got some glitches. I'm going to try and do this weekend. I think I've actually found a solo way to Mexico. I did it twice. But I want to do it a couple more times to make sure it's consistent. And see if the spawn point, how you do it, if the horse come in. Now there's a little cave here. There should be a coin. They don't show you this on the map either. Just so much to do in this game now. I don't get to play a lot, except in the mornings before I go to work. When I get off work, uh -uh, I'm going to bed. I'm sorry about my voice. I got a cold. It's turning winter in Ohio. Well, go back, get on your horse, come over here. Everybody knows where these abandoned wagons are outside Tumbleweed. If you remember my uh, old glitch of the, uh, the hell was it? Stack and sell on the wolf and uh, the Hector mission. This is where I used to stack them all the time. And this is Narrowhead. It don't show you that on the map either. I just quit running from town to town. And spots look for arrowheads. Then look for coins. Now I just do them all in one big circle. Then let them pile up. Then I cash out. And if you do, not, a lot of people don't know. You don't have to go to Madame Lazar to sell all these. All you got to do is go to the post office and send it by mail. 
that saves a lot of time too considering you're five states away and she's on the other side now go over here at this little rock you gotta have that metal detector and this one's not on the map either and this should be a coin I'll try and post the maps or location on the map I mean there's just so much to get and it seems like it takes forever but uh, if you start getting bored take a little break get up go do something alright guys there's part one thanks I'm out